Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I have a, a little little bit of a color pop haul. Looks a little bit like this and I thought I would kind of share with you guys a few things that I purchased recently. I think they were having a sale and there was a new release and some things and I was like, okay, that's mildly interesting so that when I've got a whole several things together at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and make a purchase. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to try it all on today. Let's just see. I think it's been a little while since I've done, um, Kind of a color pop haul a couple months anyway first thing in here is the soul body vanilla dream body polish and creme looks like this i think one's a scrub and one's a body uh body butter I'm excited what is this oh a little a little vanilla e i don't mind vanilla it's my stripper at heart but anyway love this i'm excited to try this this is going to go in my shower well no hold on the, the scrub will go in my shower. Actually, you know what? I might use this for my hands instead. I might keep this next to my sink. That way I can scrub my hands and then do the body or the do the afterwards. I think that would be a fantastic idea. I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, I picked up another one of these gel cream eyeliners. I have one other one that I got a while back and I liked it so much that I when I saw this and it was on sale for something really ridiculously low amount. I decided I was going to go ahead and pick it up. Can't get it open. Whew, that was a little bit of a workout, but it's, I think it's mostly like a black gel liner. The one I have already is kind of like a metallic -y silvery color. I thought this would be kind of fun. I never got into the gel eyeliner craze. My daughter was a big fan of it. This will be like my second pot of gel eyeliner ev ever that I've ever had. <laughs> Okay, you guys, there was several new palettes that came out February, I think, that were like bug related type things. This one's called Glow Getter, which leads me to believe that it would be like Firefly, but uh, that looks like a butterfly, not a, not a Firefly. Anyway, I thought the palette was actually really pretty. Takes a second to focus here. It does have that, that uh, kind of a pop of yellow and a minty green in there, which could be very pretty. I know that they're very pastel -y. But could be very pretty. I like the fact that you have these, you know, darker colors here to really kind of anchor neutral. You know, you do a neutral look and then you do a pop of another color, whether it's kind of like this dusty mauve color or this little bit more on the warmer uh, peachy toned over here. I don't really know about the silver. That might make it more of a date night look. I'll have to play with it. I don't know. If you guys want me to come back and do a look with this or three looks with it, leave me a comment down below. I'm just going to add it to the rest of my, my ColourPop collection right now. I might play with it. We'll see. This was kind of like the star of the show. These are what I really wanted to get. These are the um, eyeshadow crayons. One of these is called, one of these vaults is called a uh, vibrant thing. And as you can see on the back, it has a whole bunch of different, just gorgeous colors. One of the things that I like to do, and then I also picked up the in the bear one. There you go. These are much more neutral. One of the things I like to do with these color sticks is uh, if I'm doing like a, I don't know, a day in the sun, a weekend, something where maybe, I don't know, I'm going to be at the pool, maybe. I'll actually do a, a stroke of one shade and then one right above it as kind of like my eyeshadow. Maybe I'll take a little bit of bronzer in the crease just to kind of give my smaller close-up eyes a little bit definition. But these are the shades here, and I didn't think I had any of these all I might have the purple one. So I'll show you kind of what they look like here. So they're super soft. You have to make sure that when you when you uh, screw them up, you have to take them down too. But so I'll do like a stripe of one on my eyelid like that. Super pretty. Ooh, I almost put the lid on it without taking it down all the way. Don't do that. Uh, and then I'll take another shade, maybe a complementary shade like this one's kind of more of on the orange side, and I'll do it right next to it on the lid. This one actually looks a little almost metallic-y. There you go. If you can see those two together, they just actually look really pretty. I'm screwing this down so that I don't ram it into the lid. It makes just like a super easy effortless look, especially when you don't want to put a whole lot of time and energy and attention to it. So anyway, I picked up the In the Bear and I picked up the, the Vibrant Thing collections. The only thing I can say about these is that they're very, very soft cream eyeshadows. So be careful. Be careful you don't push too hard on them. Those are the shades. At least now I can see. It's like a box of crayons or colored pencils or watercolors. Uh, oil. Oil pastels. Anyway, the In the Bear looks like your normal eyeshadow. So you could either use them as, as an eyeshadow all over. You could use them as liner, which is kind of what I do. Um, I like the fact that they're kind of a big fat eyeliner. I guess I was in an eyeliner mood because I picked up these two kits as well. One of these is so charming. And I think these, it's got Loverboy and Charmer are the colors in it. And I think these ones are a little bit more on your berry side. Yeah, there's your, your combination of berries. 
these guys work too, but work as well too. I just like the thicker color vault or color sticks for, for doing the swoop of an eyeliner and then another color next to it. I did a couple of them last year, uh, last summer on vacation and my husband was like, oh, that's different. That's kind of cool. And it was nice because in the pool, they just didn't smear. They weren't too over the board, but over the top, but they were a little dot of something. The other one is the come into blossom. Colors in here are get paid and joy, joyride. And I thought this one might be a good like water line or lower lash and this one the other burgundy one um kind of a wine colored one would be good on the top lashes berry eyeliners i guess I, I like these little gel liners i've bought the vaults of them before and then this is the only like super new thing this is from their it's called seltzer pop they had these mm, art pop pop art pop art i think they're called pop art pop art collection pop art reminds me of animation the pop art stuff at disney Anyway, these are, I think, dual-ended liner sticks or shadow sticks. So this is one of them here. This has like a beautiful green and a blue. So the green is a little bit more of like a fatter shadow stick, fatter shadow stick, and then the blue eyeliner. That's kind of fun. It, it's like a variation on a theme. It's like all the same stuff that I've been talking about. And then this one is a different green and a light blue. And again, you've got the shadow stick on one side and the liner on the other. Kind of takes all the guesswork out of it if you're going to do what I was saying do with the, the color sticks. You can actually do them with these. Thicker swipe with the shadow stick and then a lighter one with the, the liner. And then this one has kind of like a nude color and then a bright, bright green. So I got the, you know, the blue green set this liner looks like it might be a good like waterline liner because it's really kind of a nude and that bright green is a little scary pretty fun for for spring though make sure that the things are down all the way so that was the only thing of this particular launch that i got these the art pop pop art collection anyway i haven't used these yet i think i'm going to stick these somewhere well, that sounded bad i'm going to put these somewhere where i can i can play with them a little bit and then maybe they'll work their way into a video you know soon because I think they're super fun and I think that there's some value in, in having these, but I'm excited to have this next to my sink. Anyway, super short video, you guys. I, I hope you guys are doing really well. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Enough babbling, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, I'm gonna wish you guys nothing but love and happiness and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.